Thank you, Caroline. Repairing Rhode Island's crumbling schools, we've been reporting for weeks that Governor Gina Raimondo is pitching a massive taxpayer investment to fund much-needed repairs at schools across the state. And today, she and other local leaders were there to celebrate the construction of a new middle school in Barrington. Iowa News reporter Michaela McDonald joins us now with the new details. Construction is already underway on the new Barrington Middle School, but today school, town and state officials held a groundbreaking ceremony to celebrate the progress that's been made and what it took to get here. The new Barrington Middle School is starting to take shape. Slated to open in fall of 2019, the new state-of-the-art building will replace the current middle school, part of which was built in 1958. School officials say the new facility will better support a 21st century education. The facility emerging from these grounds will not only lend itself to creativity, curiosity, and substantial experiences for our students, it will, in its design, help inspire those experiences by maximizing the learning environment. State Treasurer Seth Magaziner says the physical space has an impact on teaching and learning. But there's a lot of research that shows that when you hold everything else constant, Better buildings mean better test scores, better performance, as the governor said, stronger attendance, stronger health outcomes, lower asthma rates. There are all kinds of benefits to having a high quality school building. Governor Gina Raimondo thanked the Barrington community for investing in education, something she's pushing to expand at the state level. The treasurer and I are now uh, leading a statewide effort to make a once in a generation billion dollar statewide investment to rebuild schools in every single city and town. But you guys are leading the pack. And so thank you. Once the new building is up and running, we're told that the old building will be torn down to make room for athletic fields. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.